smaller group. I like this group better. <laughs> Guess I should have brought some notes in here. Just go at the top. Y'all don't crush me. Bees, how how was it? How did you feel out there? Yeah, it was nerve wracking. It was a one run ball game and uh so every pitch mattered, every play mattered, you know, too many walks, creating opportunities for other teams to score and uh but you know we we persevered and somehow got through it. Um, but it was fun. Uh, it was fun. Uh, I felt like it was good energy in the dugout. You know, players were responsive tonight, and uh, you know the coaching staff was really good in my ear a lot, giving me the scenarios and things of that nature. So it was fun. It was a little nervous early on, just excitement, I would guess, more than anything else. But as the game got going, just getting into the flow of, of what's happening and. You know, the main thing for me is getting a feel for where we're at um, with the uses of our players. Uh, you know, the bullpen's kind of been used, and so we don't have a full slate right off the bat. So manipulating our way through that was, you know, was a little bit challenging tonight, but, you know, Otto made it easier by giving us six. But it, it was fun. And to get that third out was like, yes. <laughs> Did you have a plan as to how, I mean, because it's, it's different, right? You're doing different things. Did you have mm -hmm. a plan of how you were going to handle yourself? Was there anything that stood out or were you just kind of learning as you went? Yeah, I just kind of went with it. Um, I mean, I know what I, what I want to be in the dugout, you know. I want to be myself, have energy, and, and you know, be enthusiastic and make sure I'm, you know, talking to the guys, motivated. I don't want to isolate myself uh, from them during the game, talking to them as they're going up to that bat, uh, especially if there's a situation where we may have to do something, uh, bunning or what have you, if it's a scenario getting behind, uh, hitting behind a runner or, or whatever it is, you know, if, if we get on base, possible stolen base scenarios and things of that, things of that, uh, things of that nature and so just making sure that I'm still engaged because I found out the first couple of innings I could get into taking notes and thinking I'm too far ahead and, and disengage with the players. I don't want to do that so just finding that balance uh, again. I hadn't had managed in, since what, 13, 2013 and so it's, it's been a minute but uh, I feel like you know as, as the games go I'll fall right back into it. I just got to get to the feel for what this club needs uh, on a daily basis as far as end game um, so you can know who to plug in where and you know punch the right buttons. And so early on, you just feel for certain guys in certain situations, uh, trying to create some belief in some guys as well, letting them know that I trust you, I believe in you. So it may give a guy a, a chance to do something early on that – I may not necessarily do, you know, but some of these young kids need to know that I believe in them and that I'm going to give them a chance to perform and not just pinch it or bail them out uh, whenever something comes up. Ricky, tomorrow's schedule starters, Kohei Arihara, will have to make a move tomorrow. The, the, are you still coaching the outfielders? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm dealing with the outfielders, uh, um, and J.J. will probably okay. take the bulk of that now. He's positioned them tonight, um, but I was still helping him a little bit tonight. Well, they had a good night. Yeah. They yeah. had a couple of big plays. I mean, with, with Bubba and yeah, you know, Leo. Yeah. Adolis, there aren't a lot of balls that are going to fall in. Yeah, I felt like... I felt like that was huge for us tonight. You know, we made some nice plays. Uh, like I said, Bubba made a nice sliding catch coming in. Leo going back against the wall, making a really nice play. And, uh, you know, Simeon with nice back end play, even uh, the body control play with uh, um, Shucks, with Smitty at third base um, was big for us. Uh, those were plays that that build us out of innings and in a ball game like this you got to keep guys out of scoring position as much as possible and so they allowed us and to pitch over the walks uh, the walks are not not pleased with the walks tonight the amount of walks uh, I will address that uh, as we go forward uh, and just a trust that we can attack hitters in the zone and, and get outs that way as well so but tonight was good all in all was good so I imagine today has basically been like being in a tornado for about 12 hours. Mm -hmm. You go home tonight, you actually get a chance to breathe. Like, 
what will you what are you looking forward to like focusing on addressing well i mean it's just multiple messages uh to to different departments uh you know pitching like identity uh who we want to be how we want to really attack hitters and uh what we want other teams to feel uh, when they play us uh so I, I definitely have to do that. I already talked to the pitching coaches, and uh, I'll probably sit down tomorrow and talk to the guys about those type of things and and just how we play every day, <clears throat> position player wise. You know how we're going to run the bases. And we we always aggressive on the bases, but as far as you know, making solid turns all the time, expecting something to happen, putting pressure uh, when we have the opportunity. Uh, I thought tonight was was good. They did a good job of holding us. But Bubba still made them feel him at first base and you know, drew a wild throw, ended up at third. And so, you know, things of that nature, we got, we got to keep doing. <clears throat> With Bubba, you talked about, y'all as a staff had talked about what he brings, what he mm -hmm. can bring to the table. When you look at what he did tonight yeah. on first and that is that exactly what you guys are talking it's, about with him that's pressure that's energy uh and um you know he can he can boost us uh you know, as a exciting exciting player you know so he, he can do things uh that create havoc and just put pressure on another team just by being on base alone he changes how they're going to attack us because that pitcher has to slide step and some pitchers are great at slide step in the executing and some are not and so you know if, if the more we can get him on first base whether he's able to steal or not if he causes that pitcher to slide step and hang or slider or not execute his pitches then it's going to benefit us so <clears throat> that's huge you know and i thought like his at bat tonight you know it was, it was huge two strike hit battle 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 got a base hit and allowed us to get the go ahead run across the plate which was that was tremendous so he brings a lot you know and uh but i, I want everybody in that clubhouse to to contribute you know and then do what they kept over doing so we'll get there thank you i did talk to my wife i've got 250 some odd messages waiting for me <laughs> And my phone was still going bing, 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 yeah, bing. I think everybody yeah. She probably already, I guess she knew my name. <laughs> I didn't think I knew those many people. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you.